r slash ask reddit disney theme park characters have there been situations where you had to break character what was the reason consequences a bit late but i did the college program at wdw never saw a character break when i worked audience control for parades definitely saw a few fully costumed characters puke in their heads and Prince Naveen once got heat exhaustion and managed to leave the parade route fully in character. Once the parade was over. We saw him in the back almost completely passed out. Typically the parade will just speed up to double time if a character actor is in distress. I wouldn't say break but I was a lifeguard and I had to ban this kid from going down the water slide. Every single time I told him he had to be feet first and every time he said okay. But he kept going head first and it got to the point where the other kids saw him and were copying him. He left and cried to mom and dad and I explained to mom and dad why. They left and cried to my coordinator and my cord came back saying that wasn't very magical. I explained after several times of this kid not listening. Other kids were copying him. In any case I got a stern talk to about being the nice lifeguard who explains why versus the mean lifeguard who just yells orders. Later that day that kid was running across the deck. Despite several requests not to. Tripped and ate concrete. Don't hate me because I don't feel bad. WDW character department at Magic Kingdom many years ago. I can't remember breaking character but I do remember working the restaurant at the contemporary for dinners. One time we had a make a wish kid as a guest and they were just the most awesome kid. And it was just heartbreaking to know why they were there. So our lead let us do a group hangout with the kid for something like an hour in costume. Playing and running around and having fun. You could never play like that in the parks. You'd start a kid riot. No consequences. We just all hoped we made that little kid happy. Bonus fun fact. The goofy costume for the electric light parade was worn by a float driver. Because the driver was seated, no pants with that costume. Just the glittery top and head and gloves. A few days ago. Me. My sister and her friend went to the new galaxy's edge area. My sister's friend was around 6 feet 1 inches and had never seen Star Wars. We were walking around and Chewbacca ran up to her. He was around her height. And hugged her. That he put his hand above his head. Showing they were both tall. She was super embarrassed and while we were walking away. He did that fist pump thing. Since then we refer to her as Chewbacca's girlfriend. Seriously the cutest thing ever. Ro. They don't mess around with their silence vow hug. My wife and I went to Disney. We were both 30 and it was my first time ever going to a major theme park. My wife wanted to meet the princesses so we stand in line and she goes up to get a picture. The Cinderella asks my wife is that your prince charming? My wife said I was. Cinderella asked how did you meet? My wife paused for a second and said that story is not Disney World appropriate and Cinderella laughed. Like a real breaking character laugh for just a second and caught herself. If she was drinking coffee it would have been a spit take. Finally she adds oh well I bet it was romantic anyway. It's not a great story but seeing her break character for a genuine laugh is my favorite memory from that trip. And for anyone who wants to know. Short version. We met at a party. She was topless on a trampoline. My cousin used to do this when I was a kid. We'd always go try to find her on days we knew she was working. She mostly played Pooh Bear. She would never say out loud hi nougat tuck but she would get very animated and jump around to give us hugs. Occasionally she'd still say things like I have a rumbly in my tummy. I thought I was the coolest kid cause I knew Pooh Bear. I wasn't a character but was a cast member. I was walking from backstage into the park. If you've seen the transitions. They are S shaped to keep people from peeking in. I was pushing a dolly handcart. The ones we used had two long supports sticking out from the end. As I was going though Winnie the Pooh was walking in from the other side. I hit him her square in the leg with it. Hearing Winnie the Pooh say fuck. Was a pretty damn funny. I have a close friend who was Woody for a while at Disneyland. He said that one time the afloat caught on fire during a show and they had to play it off completely in character. They danced around it and had to quickly get it backstage to deal with the problem. He said they played it off well enough that no one seemed to notice there wasn't any panic. 
He said he had never seen an instance of anyone breaking character because everyone was very well trained and there's always at least 6 or so cameras that can see you at all times. I also one time offered in an opened water bottle to an employee when it was near 100 degrees and he said if anyone at Disney saw that. He would be fired. They can't take anything from guests. He also mentioned the cameras constantly watching both crew and patrons. Edit. I texted my friend to confirm and he has given me another story to share. One time an acrobat fell off a float. Face planted into the ground and knocked herself out. They had to surround her in a circle and dance in sync as they dragged her body away. They played it off well and apparently no one noticed. Worked at the Disney store in late 87 and 88 in Orange County. CA. I think. At the time. It was like one of only a handful of stores open. The back of the store had a big screen. Where we constantly played some Disney video. Every once in a while. The biggest, muscular, blackest, gayest dude would come in and kindly request we play anything poor related. He'd then proceed to prance around the store. He came in the evenings. Towards closing. And sing the Tigger parts of either dialogue or any song. Turns out he was one of the Tiggers at Disneyland. Dude just loved being Tigger. If they can't break character. Does Rapunzel get to hit perverts with a frying pan? I hugged the snot out of Stitch a couple of years ago and I'm pretty sure that I heard a squeak. If you're reading this. Friend of Stitch. I'm very sorry for hugging you so hard. I watched Jack Sparrow talking to a kid when the kid started puking everywhere. He said too much of the old apple juice eh? Been there myself. Even ran out once. All the while. The kid is just projectile vomiting everywhere. I couldn't even get the zombies at Halloween Horror Nights to break character. Asked one where the restroom was and he flung his arms in the proper direction and grunted. Pretty hilarious. My neighbor. He died a couple of years ago. So I'm safe in telling this. Worked at Disney for years. One day he was stocking shelves in a gift shop and came around the corner and nearly ran into none other than Paul and Linda McCartney. Before he could stop himself. He loudly exclaimed. Holy shit. It's the McCartneys. He immediately realized how big of a breach of Disney cast member etiquette he had committed and turned 12 shades of red. But before anything bad could happen. Paul and Linda just smiled and laughed and introduced themselves. Apparently they were wonderfully laid back about such things. And quite used to surprised reactions when people recognize them in public. He didn't get into any trouble, his boss saw the whole episode and thought it was hilarious, and I think they both signed a hat or something for him as they were checking out. One of the traditions for our college sorority back in the 80s was that the day after initiation, all the new members and their big sisters would go to Disneyland sporting their brand new letters to wear. One of the costume characters in the parade kept throwing gang signs or something at us and we were so confused. Turns out it was one of our sisters who had to work that day. She was trying to do our sorority's hand symbol. But with her hands in oversized furry gloves it didn't show up so well lol. I went once and a man was harassing Cinderella so she excused herself to the bathroom and ran to a security guard. The type of people that play characters are very into it. If something comes up that needs to be addressed they will handle it in character. You've probably heard stories about characters helping kids find their parents. These days characters always have handlers nearby that have walkie talkies. They do not break character. My best childhood friend is a face character. During the interviews they bring you through a ton of challenging scenarios like kids with lost parents. Kids who act mean. Etc. If you break character. There are 1000 other people of your exact height and hair color ready to play the character better than you. They even made her do an impression of a Disney character without speaking. She had to be able to just portray the essence of the character and if they couldn't guess who she wrote down her interview was over. They are incredibly serious about staying in character. Anytime something bad enough would happen that they should break character. Their handler would just guide them away and handle it themselves. Bonus info. She isn't allowed to tell anyone who she plays, except family and friends, or post anything about work on social media for the entirety of her time at Disney or else she will be fired. They don't break character. If a nuke fell on Disney, they'd be ushering you into the bomb shelters as Aladdin or whatever. 
obligatory not me but my best friend is a very popular face character and she's told me some hilarious stories. One time though when she nearly broke character was when she was doing a meet and greet thing. A young autistic boy came in who got very overexcited and yanked her wig off. They put hundreds of bobby pins in your hair to keep them on so you can imagine the pain and she had to restrain herself so hard to not scream out. She said the wig was hanging off her head and everyone in the room just froze. The little boy started crying hysterically and had to be rushed from the room. They ended up closing her room up so she could get fixed but she said it was a pretty crazy moment. Apparently the parents were so embarrassed they didn't even say anything to her and just bolted from the room with the boy. A face performer broke character for my husband and I. I won't say which park. But we took a trip to Disney about 2 months after our infant son died. He was our first. Our entire nursery was Neverland Peter Pan themed. We always wanted to take him to Disney. Have him meet Peter. Well. He couldn't. I got a memorial tattoo. An exact replica of my son's hospital ink handprint. And we got a picture of Peter Pan with the tattoo. We were alone with him and his handler. I tearfully explained the situation before asking him to pose with my arm. He took lots of photos with my tattoo and us. And afterward he hugged me tight. Told me he was proud of me. And God bless us. And he was so so sorry for our loss. It was amazing. Emotional. And I'll never forget that Peter Pan was proud of me for finding the strength to keep on living. It honestly meant the world. I'm so glad he broke character. I'll always treasure those photos and that memory. Maybe someone who actually played Tarzan can confirm this for me. Disneyland used to have a Tarzan character. But you don't see him anymore. Since the characters are always expected to pose for photos and selfies. And Tarzan wore nothing but a loincloth. Women were constantly grabbing the actor's ass. When they got in clothes. So. The park just quit that character. Visitant from last year here. On the Halloween night. I've seen two female employees working on the store, not characters though, clearly upset by some kind of superior order. The exact dialogue was. Yeah. Sometimes it gets hard. I know it does. But that attitude was unacceptable. I didn't resist. And I said I guess even in Disney working sometimes sucks. The first girl immediately stood up and smiled as bright as she could. What do you mean? Working here is awesome every time. I couldn't help but feel that she was agreeing with me. But never breaking the happy land face. Awesome place. This reminds me of that story about the little girl and boy whose parents died that got VIP treatment for a day by a Disney Park character. One of the most touching stories I've ever read. Stuck with me. When I was 6 or so. I went to Disney World with my mom and aunt and cousins. I really wanted Capt Hook's autograph. But per his character. He wasn't supposed to give it. I started crying over it. And my mom went and asked him again. Nicely. I hope. And told him that I was very upset over it. He signed my book. Even though he wasn't supposed to. And I always thought that was neat. So. To Capt Hook from 1989 or so. If you're out there. Thanks. And I hope you didn't get in trouble for that. Not Disney. But I was Bugs Bunny and Wiley. Coyote at Six Flags. I was punched in the face and punched in the groin. The kid missed his target. Thank goodness. But you can always tell. It's usually some dad whispering to his kid. Smiling. And pointing at you. Then the kid nods. And confidently starts heading your way. That's when you know he's about to go for the nuts. My mom was a costumed character for a couple of years at Disneyland. She was very committed to keeping character. But there was one instance where she broke character. Two teens jumped her when she was playing Piglet and started beating her. At first she just tried to block and defend herself. But at one point she knocked one of the boys to the ground and pinned him. Considering my mom's only 4 minutes and 10 seconds and was wearing 50 pounds. Of costume I consider that fairly impressive. The other kid continued to assault her and I think she may have yelped or cried out because the kid she had pinned heard her and said oh shit it's a chick. Like. No shit dumb fuck. Most of the shorter characters are women because. Well. They're shorter. Cost members came to help her and the kids were banned from the park. My mom got in a lot of trouble for that too. 
though. Because she broke character. I like she was suspended for a couple days. I don't work at a park. But I went with a friend and we were getting photos with interacting with Kilo Ren. Everything went great. And at the end of the visit I told him I was going to work for the dark side. As he menacingly stared at me while I told him this. My example of doing something evil was that I would go spill someone's drink. This caused him to let out a barely audible. Breathy chuckle. To this day I consider that one of my greatest accomplishments. I have not accomplished much. It's really unlikely that you'll get any current cast members to answer. Also. There's no need for them to break character since they have handlers or security nearby if there is a safety concern or emergency. They also have tons of places to get out of sight to have a private moment. I was at Disneyland a couple weeks ago and saw Darth Vader not cutting down younglings. It was just unprofessional as all hell. I'm not a character. But here is my story of it kinda happening to me. The first week of January in 2018 my family went to Disney World. It being everyone's first time except for my wife. And we were in line for the meet and greet where Kilo was on one side and Chewbacca was on the other. When we got to our turn. I let my two children who were with me go up first just so they'd be okay with him and so I could get extra pictures on my cell phone. At the time I had a huge mustache that came out right at the corner of my mouth but the hair could almost fall below my chin. Chewie saw me and got crazy excited. Might have been part of the show. He pointed to my mustache and brushed his face then motioned like he was twisting his mustache hairs also. He really played it up. Howling. Thumbs up. The whole nine. When we posed for our Disney pic. He actually brushed my mustache with his hand and gave me an awesome hug. That was probably my most teary eyed happy moment of our trip. Kids didn't understand why I was so joyous. I told them that me and Chewie bonded. I received word on my headset that there was an emergency at home. I immediately ran away. From where I was as Donald Duck. Turns out mom called my boss, we weren't allowed to carry cell phones obviously, and told him what was wrong. PS my mom had stage 2 ovarian cancer but had it removed and is 4 years into remission. Saw a recent video on YouTube of a Ray talking to this little girl and her dad had just started filming. Apparently the story the little girl was telling got Ray laughing so hard. She had to turn her face away and eventually got up and ran away because she couldn't stop laughing at whatever the little girl's story was. Super adorable. My wife was goofy for a semester in college. She accidentally ripped the feeding tube out of a make-a-wish kid in a wheelchair going in for a hug with poor visibility from the costume. Luckily all wandering costumed characters have uniformed handlers to assist. But it's kind of hard to stay in character as goofy after something like that. She felt terrible and was traumatized for weeks. The kid was fine, from that incident at least. It was a hassle to mitigate. But no medical damage resulted from it. I don't work for Disney but I work for Party Princess Productions that does Disney Day parties on the weekends. I was Darth Vader in Malibu for this kid's day. It was only him which was rare but we had fun. We played lightsaber hide and go seek where when he finds me we duel. I had him practice the force on me. Helping him focus and toss me to the wall. In the middle of all the fun kid starts coughing. It's subtle at first then gets worse. Gets to the point he's not breathing and he's not moving. I took off my helmet and was about to perform CPR when the mother came out with his inhaler. She told me he can't play anymore because he has bad asthma and it gets worse the more active he is. I put the helmet back on played things off. We opened presents together and I left. To this day I hate that mother for watching me play with her kid knowing his condition and not telling me a word until the poor kid nearly suffocated. I called my boss and told her that I need to know all medical conditions before the party right away for now on. I hope that kid had fun. I still feel horrible for almost killing him from teaching him the ways of the dark side. I auditioned to be a face character in Disneyland and made it to the stage where they run through scenarios of unruly guests. Rude comments etc. And you have to respond and come up with responses and character. My dance teacher was a face more than 20 years ago and she had all kinds of stories of people trying to reach up her skirt. She was Pocahontas mainly. In the end I'm glad I didn't make it through. 
At the time it was like barely above min wage which was like $6.75 an hour or something like that. My mom brought my niece to Disney and while waiting to get on Haunted Mansion the attendant was being a normal, grim and creepy cast member. My niece was already kind of scared and after the cast member said something creepy my niece started crying. Anyone who works in the Haunted Mansion is never supposed to break character or smile. This one did. No no no. It's okay. They aren't real ghosts. Please don't cry. She got my niece to calm down a bit and continue to get on the ride. And my mom kept her mouth shut about that knowing that cast member would be removed from the ride for doing that. Stepdad is also a cast member. This happened years ago so I think it's safe to talk about it. Lol. Here's my story. It must have been 2008 and I went to Disneyland with my friend. Borat was the hottest movie ever and I happened to stumble on a shirt that had the outline of Kazakhstan in the words Spring Break Kazakhstan. It's nice. We ended up at some photo opportunity with Pluto and he made a big fuss about my shirt. Without saying anything of course. Just acting excited. When the photographer said say cheese. The guy in the Pluto costume yelled very nice. That was a funny and unexpected moment of broken character. I remember going to a Cinderella themed restaurant and one of the kids drew really funny portraits of each character and had a backstory for each. One stepsister just called out to the other one and then they both called the stepmother and the prince over, all in character. Cue everyone in the restaurant seeing this and wanting photos, because duh. Apparently they were never supposed to be anywhere near each other and this was an anomaly. The non-character staff just stepped in and explained that wasn't happening. In high school we had a trip to Disneyland with choir. I think it might have been a pre-park opening photo op. But we said we were from Springfield, Oregon, and Goofy said very quietly hey, the Simpsons. It was very strange and nobody else broke character the whole time so we didn't say anything about it. My kid loves to watch YouTube videos of Disney character fails. Them falling. Getting stuck. Costume parts falling off. Etc. They literally never break character. Never. Edit. YouTube example. One of my friends was a photographer she watched Cinderella get almost choked out by an autistic kid. Cinderella managed to stay in character the whole time. But she had to take a break right after cause she about passed out. I once ran up to Donald Duck to give him a hug when I was a kid and he shoved me away pretty hard. Kinda hurt tbh. I would say this was out of character but Donald is actually kind of a dick. On a Disney cruise I met a guy who looked exactly like Peter Pan. When we asked him he said no nope, Peter Pan has brown eyes, or something like that. The next day when we went to get a picture with Peter he got super close and whispered see. Peter has brown eyes. Hands down best Disney employee I've ever met, he was also Pluto. Ex cast member here. While not a character myself. I did have to work the parade route from time to time. Making sure kids didn't dart out in front of floats and such. Friends of characters would often be playful with CMs along the parade route. Winking. Making silly faces. Etc. There was one day where Baloo came up to me mid dance. And proceeded to bow to me. Baloo also happened to be wearing some sort of crown hat thing with a star on the top. Baloo probably wasn't aware of how tall that actually made them. Baloo managed to smack me right in the mouth with that star. Cutting it open and giving me a fat lip. Fairly certain I heard Baloo audibly gasp when they stood upright again. Pause to mouth. Immediately stopped dancing. Just stared at me as I bled. They tried to grab my hands and pull me to them. But their handler came and ushered them along. Oops. When I was a young teen I walked up to one of the toy soldiers at a Disneyland park in Florida, forget which one. I lifted my leg to stand at attention and salute him but I scared the shit out of the guy as he thought I was going to kick him in the sack. Was a pretty funny moment actually. 10 plus years ago. My friend was a face character at Disneyland. And told me about her friend who was friends with Goofy, which is what you say to people when out of costume. To preserve the magic instead of outright saying you're the character. Allegedly. One day. Goofy's shift was over. And he was trying to walk to the back area to cool off. When a very angry mom started yelling at him because he ignored her son. In reality. 
he couldn't see them as he was turning to walk away. The lady then called him racist. And said that Goofy was ignoring them because they were black. Goofy turned around to greet the child and signed his autograph book. And then turned to the mom. And slipped up his sleeve to quickly point at his own black skin underneath before walking away. Edit. A few people commented that this isn't how the costume works. And that the sleeves aren't possible to pull up under the gloves. It could be a baloney story. But this is just what I heard from my friend who worked at Disney. Alongside a bunch of our other classmates from our performing arts school at the time. A friend of the family was in Tokyo Disney during a major earthquake. She was aerial and she was suspended up in the air. The pulley broke during the quake and she was stuck. She couldn't break character till they all evacuated. I wanna see Mickey Mouse cuss someone out in character. Not a theme park character. But a witness. I saw a kid purposely barf all over Pluto's feet paws. Much to the laughter of his friends and then tell Pluto to lick it up. Pluto walked over to a nearby security guard and pointedly started cursing out the kid. Of course the kid and his friends were thrown out of the park. But the kicker was what the kid said when security was escorting them out and even asked what he hoped to accomplish by something so disgusting. I found this it out when I overheard the guard consoling the Pluto guy. Pluto's a dog and dogs eat vomit. Figured he'd lick it clean. Acquaintance worked at Magic Kingdom and said there was a show where there was a shift change and one character, can't remember which but let's say it's Cinderella, exited the stage and another one was supposed to take her place as the same character in a short time span. Somebody screwed up and both were on stage at the same time and according to the source both Cinderella's and the person managing that show were all fired. Not a character performer. But I work with the costumes and dress the characters. One story I've heard is that during a family's meet and greet with Goofy, the performer, in Goofy's voice, whispered hi to the little kid they had. As the family was leaving, the kid told his mom that Goofy talked to him. But she told him that's silly because Goofy can't talk. The kid went back over to Goofy and told him that his mom didn't believe him and the performer, now with their regular adult male voice, whispered. And she never will. As for the stuff I have seen. And none of this is really breaking character. But characters have had to be pulled off set for lots of different reasons. I've seen performers hair falling out of the back of their head. Characters tails falling off. Heads falling off. Dresses coming off female characters. And other stuff like that. If they break character they are fired. They are trained to walk away and escape backstage if anything gets to a point where they can't deal with the situation in character. I was a character attendant with Rapunzel when a tour guide came through leading a family of several young children. The tour guide was quite loudly explaining to the family how Rapunzel's hair was attached without hurting the performer's neck. The guide was killing the magic in front of the kids and any non-tour members in the room. So Rapunzel gently pulled him aside and whispered I'm going to remind you of two words. Character integrity. The tour guide called her a bitch to his group as they walked out. That was a fun day. I was at Disneyland once and the sheriff of Nottingham was fake menacing a child. He reached out to touch the kid's balloon and for some reason it popped. The character actor was clearly stunned. A new balloon appeared less than 30 seconds later. I got scared at Halloween Horror Nights when a clown jump scared me. I accidentally tripped him and his face got a lot of road rash and blood. I asked him if he was alright and he didn't answer and hobbled back to where he came from and scared the next people. Man didn't break character for a bloody face. I once saw an employee dressed as a viking in the Norway section of Epcot. He screamed a viking war cry and I instantly responded Skyrim is for the Nords his eyes lit up and he let out a half laugh half yell in response. It wasn't exactly character breaking but I knew he understood my reference. When I read this I immediately thought of Squidward dabbing even though he's not a Disney character. Apparently reading about people being horrible at Disney makes me really sad. Just why? The pain these people must be experiencing to act this way at that place has to be immense. Taking it out on people there to entertain them and their children. Fuckers. I used to develop photos at a one hour photo near Disneyland many years ago. Occasionally I would develop photos of cast members in the back studio in various sexual positions with their costumes on. I guess that's breaking character? 
Maybe not if it's Mickey and Minnie or Daisy and Donald. One time a person in the chip costume pointed to a hat I was wearing and gave me a thumbs up. We then told them we were from there and the person in the costume started writing in our autograph book and whispering to my mom through the costume. We ended up finding out that the person had had one of my aunts as their teacher in elementary school. Non-Disney amusement park character here. The only times I've broken character were when my safety was being threatened. I've been punched in the face. Spit on. Tripped. Shoved. And had a costume head broken from being smacked. My immediate reaction is to try and alert security. And. In one case. Catch the kid who punched me. The park has always backed me up. And. For the guy who broke my head. Prosecuted him. He didn't show for two hearings. I grew up in LA. Probably went to Disneyland. 50 plus times in my life. And have never seen an actor break character. They are professional as fuck. I know this will get buried but OP will like it. I chaperoned a gentleman with special needs to Disneyland as part of a group tour. When our group of special needs individuals met the characters. They were all absolutely incredible with our people. Minnie flirted with my friend I took. Marita flirted with me. But the best of all was Cruella Deville. Normally she insults whoever she takes pictures with. With us she managed to stay in character but not say anything actually mean. She said to one guy with a cane. Ah. I like your cane. You can use it to beat little ones out of your way. Not Disney. But I was Daffy Duck at Six Flags over GA for 3 years. Worst experience was when a big guy picked me up and body slammed me to see if I'd bounce. Life Daffy did in the cartoons. He got banned for life from the park and I got a busted face. A bit late to the thread. Wife doesn't have a reddit but she's a Disney princess. She has a lot of passion for her job and has never broken character. It's a fireable offense. The girls know that their job is coveted so they're on their best behavior. If they break character in a bad way. Disney will quickly replace them with another girl going to the monthly auditions. She loves a good dad joke so one guest made a real clever one while she was meeting his kid and instead of her in character princess laugh. She genuinely laughed. The stories she tells me are insane. Hysterical. Sad. And heartwarming. If anyone wants to hear more. She's more than happy to share, omitting any details that'll jeopardize her job. Edit for grammar. I wasn't a character but worked closely with them. As a photographer. Disney performers are trained to never break character for whatever reason. They have ways of signaling their character attendant that they are in distress. And it's generally up to the character attendant to avoid any weird or uncomfortable situations. As far as weird situations. They do get people that stalk them in the park. Like some people get in those lines multiple times to get a photo with a specific performer. The weird side of Disney fanatics are something else. I've seen articles that face characters can leave at any time if harassment is bad. Using in character excuses. Costume characters always have an attendant with them to control unruly guests. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for daily awesome videos. Feel free to like the video if you love it, and comment down below for suggestions on the next video.